Barbara and I have known him for a long, long time, uh, and everyone in our family strongly supports him. Uh, you have a good man. He's demonstrated his integrity and honor in office. Rick, I look forward to having you by my side. It's important that Texans elect Rick Perry. He's a man of honor. He's a man of integrity. And he's trustworthy. My heart uh, is where Barbara's is, where George's is, in the Perry Corner. Now, this was uh, a particularly challenging election uh, for Perry because in 1998, George W. Bush was essentially trying to maximize his vote without you know, angering any portion of the, of the population in preparation for running for the president in 2000. He was running against a relatively weak Democrat. Gary Morrow had been a uh, you know, statewide official, but he wasn't a particularly strong candidate. And nobody in the Bush campaign wanted to rock the boat, but at the same time, you know, Rick Perry was running against John Sharp, by far the strongest Democrat, you know, conservative, moderate Democrat, very, very popular. Um, and in a race where it was almost, uh, you know, in Bush's favor to sort of not have a large turnout, um, you know, the Perry campaign was kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. They want to be able to attack, they want to be able to do the natural things that a campaign does, but at the same time they want to be able to ride the coattails as much as they possibly can of Bush. So, you know, this ad is good just reminding people, you know, that Rick Perry is a Republican, Rick Perry is liked by the Bushes, um, but it was a very, very close campaign and one that he barely won. You know, and in some ways, uh, you know, people say that he won that campaign not only because he ran a pretty good campaign, he's always been a great campaigner, very disciplined, you know, because John, but also because John Sharp was very, very effectively attacking him and then, you know, mysteriously took off his attack ads for the last four or five days of the election and uh, Perry you know, in an election that was dominated by Republicans, was able to squeak through. And without that, you know, we wouldn't have Rick Perry thinking about running for president today.